Welcome into the NJCAA Network. Coming up is our ESPN Plus Game of the Week on Saturday. It is Trinity Valley and Tyler at Tyler. And here with us is the Tyler JC head coach. It's Tanner Jacobson. Tanner, thanks for joining us. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, really excited for this matchup coming up. And for you guys, starting the season with two losses, but chance at redemption here on Saturday against a rival. 100th all-time matchup between you guys. Number six in the rankings is Trinity Valley. All of those coming together. How excited are you and your team to be in the national spotlight for this one? Every week's a great opportunity. Obviously, uh, matchup against Trinity Valley is always a great, great rivalry that we have. Past two years have always been kind of must-see uh, TV or must-see streaming, as you could say. Uh, I think we always match up very similarly. We're, you know, super close in proximity with colleges. We're super close with, you know, the types of kids that we recruit. We recruit, you know, the same areas. And so it's always it's always a great opportunity to play against Trinity Valley. Coach TV does a great job of preparing his team to play. And so just really, really excited for Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, the bright spot for you guys early in the season has been that pass defense. What does your secondary have to do to continue that trend and stifle good quarterback play like Diego Tello on Trinity Valley side? We just have to play our game, right? You know, really, it comes down to two things. It's, it's you know, do you know what to do and can you do it physically? And um, our, our secondary has done a great job all year. Um, you know, it's it's a position group that I, I challenge just the way that the defense is created and the, and the scheme. It puts a lot of pressure on the defensive backs to be able to go make plays. And I've been pleased um, with how they've done that two weeks into the season. It's we've got ourselves a, a big test with um, Diego and Champ Harris, you know, going against this week. We expect to see both quarterbacks. And so the, the challenge is there. They're much they're much improved from last year in, in terms of their receiving core. They've got three or four guys that can really fly. Um, you know, and they, they had a really, really good first game against Independence. And so it's just, uh, you know, I made the comment earlier, it's typically just good on good with the matchups every time we play Trinity Valley. So really, really excited for the matchup for, for that group. And coach, I know you guys are taking it kind of game by game, but what are some goals that you guys have this season and what's, what's the ceiling for Apache's football this year? Yeah. So we're just taking it one game at a time. The nice part about having a preseason and scheduling tough opponents the way that we have is, you know, it gives us a good litmus test and exactly where we are as a program and where we are as a team. And so um, I feel that it's an advantage to have played two really, really good teams early on in the season. And so, you know, we have a very good indication of where we are as a team. And, you know, as we start into conference play and be able to know, hey, you know, it's, it's a new season right in terms of getting into our conference playoffs and winning a conference championship everything is still in front of us and so going one to know this week sets us up to still achieve all the goals that we have as a team of winning the conference and being in the conversation for a national playoff is is what you know the next step of the program that we talked about this offseason it's still all in front of us yeah and with that national championship back in texas this year who knows you know a lot of texas teams vying for those uh, spots in the 14 playoffs so coach Looking forward to Saturday. Thanks for hopping on with us and uh, best of luck. Awesome. Thank you, Zach.